If you want to leave your competitors in the dust, talent may be the nitro you need. In this episode of Conversations, we return to my time with Thunderbird and Santa Fe operating partner Sean Delaney. In this installment, Sean tells us how he changed his store meetings for the better, their concept of coaching to keep, and how they borrowed from the television series The Office to fuel their dealership performance. What do you find so powerful about having such a uh, such a participative culture? Well, I'll tell you, this is I have another great story. So for many, many years, we've had what's called an all-store meeting. It's the yeah. second Thursday of the month. We've had it since I started, you know, and every night before that meeting for the past 17 years, I lose sleep. I get nervous. I mean, I'm telling it, it, it 17 years later, I was nervous. Yeah. And and you know. It was because I had to lead it. I had to, you know, I had to have my PowerPoint presentation and I had to be just right. And if the technology didn't work, you know, which it never did, um, it worked the night before. But when I got there in the morning, somehow it didn't go work. figure. It happens all the time. So I would, uh, I would, I would, I would get nervous. And so, so anyway, th- about six months ago, Scott and I were on a phone call and he was telling me about a meeting he went to at his, uh, at his, uh, he was on board or something. And he was talking about that they changed uh, the way they did their meetings and it was employee led. And I said, wow, this sounds awesome. So I asked some more questions and I got my team together and we brainstormed on it. We actually brought all the staff together and not all, but we, we picked out like maybe two people from sure. the department and we said, what, what would you want the meeting to be like? And they all gave us feedback. And, and man, I'll tell you, we changed it to what they want. And it is a blast. We, 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 it's employee led. It's not manager led. Uh, our HR person, Renee, kind of puts everything together and, you know, gets everything settled. But, you know, the employees get up and they tell stories. They tell about, like, why it's the best job ever. You know, what happened this month that, that you know, was great for them. You know, we've, we've had employees talk about the fact that we give them time off for, you know, if they have, they have kids that are, uh, you know, because of COVID, kids that have to stay home. We've made, you know, made alternative plans for them. And then, you know, people that have gotten sick, that our benefits have kicked in and helped them a lot and all sorts of stories. I mean, it, it goes on and on, but it's all employee led. But the coolest thing we have, we have music playing and we have burritos, in, you know, bur- I got to feed everybody. Gotta, two things. You got to feed everybody. You got to You got to hand out cash, you know, so, you know, if they hit, if, if our departments hit goal, they get each person gets 50 bucks. Yeah. If all departments hit goal, they get a hundred. And you hand out some cash and then you read all the kudos from the customers and, you know, all of our customer service things that come up on Google and, you know, our CXI from Harley, we read those out and then we put them in a big pile and we pick out five and everybody gets 20 bucks. You know, those of those five winners get 20 bucks and that's money. And, you know, it, 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 the coolest part though is we start giving out awards. So we only used to give out one award. We used to give out top hop and, you know, you only had one winner. So everybody said, well, you know, let's wreck it up. So we started like making up, like, I don't know if you ever saw the office, but there's this one office where Michael gives out all these crazy awards. And we kind of, we kind of watched a little piece of it on YouTube and we were laughing. So we made up like crazy awards, like as a joke. So, you know, an impact player and we gave them uh, um, uh, an impact drill. And then we had, an, uh, 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 what it was, a shifting gears and we gave them like a, a thing made out of gears. And then yeah. we had a can- old canteen we bought, which was like the lifesaver award. I forget, it was everything was crazy. And we had all these little things and we gave them out. And boy, it's so much fun. And, and then we gave out a um, one, the Yellow Brick Road Award because they were going, I mean, it's so funny, but they they make them up. And, yeah. you know, and, and it's, and then we still have our, you know, our top hog and our top guns. Our top guns are all the number one performers in every department. And they get a Top Gun pin, like out of the movie Top Gun. Yeah. And that's funny because like one guy has like six of them, you know, on his shirt and he wears them proudly. And so there's just so much like stuff that's come out of it. But it's all employee led. Yeah. And, you know, they, 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 they really have a great time with it. And, you know, I'm, like I said, there's music kick in. So we had I'm, the, I'm Too Sexy for My Shirt Award, which was a guy who always dresses so fine and so clean. And we gave, and so he had to come up and he was coming up to, I'm oh, okay. too sexy, but, and it was just hysterical. So yeah. the, the meetings have really morphed into a really exciting celebration 
of the successes. And, you know, that's what it's about. It's about celebrating successes. And, you know, we still, there's a, still a little bit of that, you know, what's going on kind of stuff at the store um, moment or two, but it's really not about that anymore. It's about celebrating the staff and they love it. Yeah. And uh, I love, it. I love going to it now. I, I don't, I don't have to get worried anymore. And I go and, and I, I have a blast at it too. So, but Sean, you know, everything can't be Shangri-La every day. How do you and your other dealership managers, how do you correct performance discrepancies? How do you fix performance issues? You know, I, I it's a great question, by the way. It, it, it is Shangri-La a lot of the time, but when it isn't, you know, you have to have like everything else, process and procedure. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, of course there's a lot of litigation these days and we want to, we want to keep ourselves away from that. Um, we have what's called coaching to keep. And, and we, we talk a lot about that. We have regular uh, quarterly meetings with our managers where we do lunch, lunch and learns, we call them. And we buy lunch and they come in and, and our human resources director, Renee Dixon, she's, she's awesome. Uh, retired military from the U S air force. Uh, she mm-hmm. did, human resources for the Air Force. And she came to work for us because of our organizational health and our core values. So um, she was a high chapter member and now she's a full-time star in our our staff. And she leads a lot of this stuff. And uh, so quarterly, she has these lunch and learns and they go through, um, you know, hiring. We do, everybody does a new employee orientation when they start. Nobody's allowed to start without that, myself included, nobody. Um, So we have a new hire orientation. Uh, where we tell them the background of our company and what we believe in and, and, and what we're going to be doing. And everybody at the end of that day, they get, they, they go on a dealer tour, they get their, they get their backpack and their toys, just like our customers do when they, when they buy a motorcycle and um, they get their stuff and they go over and they ring the bell and we welcome them to, to the family, just like we welcome customers to yeah. and they have, they have to ring the bell and we, we take pictures and share it. And, you know, they, um, they now become family members of, of our store. And then, and then that's the starting point. So you always got to, you got to start with a great orientation, I believe. Yeah. And then, you know, we do 30, 60, 90s, where we review people at 30 days, 60 days, and actually it's 30, 60, 80, because at 90 days you, you get into some unemployment situation. So at 80 days, we, you know, we, we want to give them that one last review and, and tell them how they're doing performance wise. And I'm just, you know, we are very goal driven. So we, we set the bar with people when they start as to what's expected of them. You know, they have to make so many phone calls and they got to do so many of this or that, whatever they, they know what, they know what's very expected of them. They have job descriptions. And so we bring them on board. Very, very uh, important. Uh, they go through a complete, uh, which is a compliance, um, uh, online compliance. So they, they know what, you know, again, what compliance is and and they have to do our handbook review and all that kind of stuff. And then when they're started, they, like I said, 30, 60, 80, but let's say we do have a situation. So we want to train our managers of how to, how to deal with, with those situations that arise. So of course, everything is a written, written warning, written write-up, written termination, uh, signed. Every time it's done, it has to have a, a witness there. Nobody's allowed to uh, write anybody up that, that wasn't agreed upon by our human resources and ultimately myself. And uh, we want to make sure that it's a fair to both sides, you know, and we looked at it both ways. And then uh, let's say we are going to do a written warning. Uh, we're going to, we're going to bring them in uh, somewhere private and we're going to sit two people, not never one person. Right. There's always right. going to be a person and, and a witness. And, and hopefully if it's a male, male or male, female or female, what we always try to have. So it's always an alternative to that. So that that's uh it's always fair to everybody involved. So we, we sit people down and, and we, uh, we present the write-up to them and uh, we explain things to them. And we say, these are the actions that we want to see corrected. And, you know, we try to give them a plan on the way, on the way out. So they know what they have to do. And we try to make it timely. So, you know, you have 30 days, 60, whatever it might be. Yeah, it's, sure. Every situation is different. And, and we want to give them the opportunity to change and do better. And if, if they do, they stick around and if they don't, Sometimes they move on. Sometimes we move them on. But, you know, it, it's got to have a real, real, real process. And it's super important because if it's not done right, you know, the lawyer calls in six months or, you know, somebody, somebody, uh, you know, has an issue and, and, and you want to make sure that you have all your paperwork right and the file is correct. And every email that's been sent back and forth between human resources and a manager is, is now in play. So you want to make sure that everything is said the right way. And, you use the right language because, uh, you know, it, it, it can be, I always tell my staff, it, it, 
my managers too. I go, you're going to be sitting there in a court of law. You better be, you better be willing to, um, to tell the truth about why you wrote this. And it, you know, you use foul language, you use stuff like that. It's going to come out and it's not going to reflect well on you. And you don't want that. Nobody wants that. So we just try to keep it everything above board and be real transparent and be direct. You know, I tell it, I tell my managers all the time, be direct. You know, nobody wants to run around the bush stuff. Just be direct, be, be, be kind, but be direct. As you can see, Sean and his crew invest time, energy, and planning into finding, attracting, developing, and retaining talent. I don't know about you, but I've never seen a business that has happy customers and unhappy employees. When you invest in your people, their lives improve, your life improves, and your dealership improves. More to come with Sean Delaney. Until next time, go sell something, will ya?